carnivorous brothers are satisfied, we won't leave our vegetarian friends hanging. I made some friends here at Gachi's farm and enjoyed the ride around the 6 hectare property. But it is this small house that caught my eye and its little tenants. Mrs. Gracchi Bautista Noval explains how they started with the mushroom cultivation. How many mushrooms do you have here? Right uh, now, we have about uh, maybe over a thousand. A thousand? Yes. Uh, we have now here that I can show you only three. Three. This is the yes. oyster. The oyster, the white oyster. White oyster. And then we have the Ganoderma. We just we just have a few of them. And then the shiitake. Shiitake. Yeah, I want to see that high. Ganoderma. Where's Ganoderma? Okay. It's very hard to grow and quite expensive. So you see, they're very tough. You know, so when they're about about the size of your palm, and then we can harvest them, and then we I bring them to a friend who pulverizes them. And what kinds of dishes can you make with your mushrooms? Oyster. oyster. Everything we, we we used for our, uh, our lunch today are oyster mushrooms. Yeah. Apparently, these mushrooms serves as more than just a minor ingredient in a recipe. So this is how you pluck your oyster mushrooms. Take it from the root. Exactly. There's the root. They look like corals. There? Did I do it, did yes, I do it yes. right? Yes, yes. That's correct. The oyster mushrooms has a very mild to earthy taste. Sounds interesting? You bet! Now it's time to make our oyster mushroom kare kare. No wonder you're using this uh, for oyster mushroom. Yes, we do. Yes, yeah, Because it some, has the same texture as tripe. Right? People don't even know that it's mushroom. They think it's tripe because yeah. uh, of the texture. The texture. Okay. Time to cook! Yes, go! <laughs> Kare Kare is a stew made of peanut sauce with tripe and as mentioned, instead of meat, we'll use our freshly plucked mushrooms as substitute. And this Gracchi here is gonna show me how to make your oyster mushroom Kare Kare. Mm -hmm. We start off by sautéing the garlic and onion in vegetable oil. It's more then, you add in your broth. So this is just broth, beef broth, or you can use chicken broth. Season with salt, then add in the anato seeds. A fourth of a cup. Let it simmer before stirring in the peanut butter. I use two kinds of peanut butter. One is the, the creamy one, and then the one is uh, the chunky one. Yes, the chunky <laughs> one. Add the toasted rice. So this is used as a thickening as, as well as the kind of flavor to give it the, the toasted taste. Coagulant. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Instead of flour. Yeah. Then, put in the vegetables as you mix constantly. Banana hearts, eggplant. And when the veggies are cooked, add in the oyster mushrooms. The oysters are alive. Fresh from the mushroom house. Yes. Lastly, the baby bok choy. Thank you. And it's done. Make sure everything's there. This one hearties too. Alright. Mm. It's good on its own. You don't even need the bagong. Because the mushroom gives it a, that umami flavor to your kare kare. It's very rich, very flavorful. I think I'm, I need rice. <laughs> Imagine that in your tongue. Aside from kare kare, their mushroom recipes menu includes sisig and chicken afritada. Gracious goodness in this bag, your oyster mushroom kare kare, your sisig, and everything else all for takeout. I'm kind of full, but I think there's room for some more, so get ready for our next food stop. <laughs>